hey, for this last little bit on this video, I'm going to jump uh, out of uh, my R Studio document and directly into uh, out of my RMB document directly into R Studio and and look a little bit at the help that comes with GLM, so you can get a better feel for what your options actually are with generalized linear models. Uh, so first, if we look at the overall help, uh, what we're seeing is uh, the first argument is formula. And again, this is similar to our regression models and formula. Uh, the next is we have to have a family argument. It defaults to Gaussian. So if you call GLM without specifying a family, it's going to default to Gaussian, which means it's going to default to running a linear model. Uh, like with LM, you can pay, pass in a uh, data frame so that you can just refer to variables within the data frame instead of having to include, you know, the you know, data set dollar sign variable name, data set dollar sign variable name, you don't need to do that all over the place. Um, and then there's various other options in terms of being able to wait and subset and control things. Um, one of the things that is particularly novel about GLM is how do you specify your options uh, for families? I'm going to jump here, the fa family argument, um, and it importantly says C, family for details on family functions. I'm going to jump there. And so within the family uh, help, we can see a list of what our options are. So the family uh, for the generalized linear models supports uh, the binomial, which we've already seen, uh, the Gaussian, which is our default, the Poisson, which we've seen, but it also supports another distribution called the gamma, which is a continuous distribution that is zero bound. Uh, so it describes data uh, that is non-negative, non zero bound, uh, tends to have a skewed distribution, uh, but works well uh, when you have you know, a, a model that is unlike, it's like the Poisson and that it is, uh, you know, it is going to asymptotically approach zero in one direction or the other, uh, but it's not limited to discrete values. Uh, we have an inverse Gaussian uh, and these other quasi functions, quasi, quasi binomial, and quasi Poisson, which are generalized versions of these other things. You'll also see that the family object tells you what the default link is for, for these families. So, for example, when we fit uh, uh, a binomial model for a logistic regression, the logit was actually the, the default. We could have actually skipped that and just said binomial. Um, Gaussian link is identity, which means no transformation. The Poisson's default link is log, which is what we used. Again, we could skip that. Um, and there's others for the others. So what are our options for links? So on the link, there's actually, uh, it says it accepts these various things. Um, Gaussian accepts identity, log, and inverse. Binomial accepts logit, probit, couchit, identity, log. Poisson takes log, identity, and square root. Inverse Gaussian takes one over mu squared, inverse, identity, log, blah, blah, blah. So it tells you uh, what are the, the acceptable options for the different uh, link functions. And, and honestly, the easiest way to learn about the different link functions is probably just to, to Google them. Uh, most, so uh, again, Log is log, logit is logit, identity means no transformation, square root's pretty self-explanatory, inverse is just one over. So you fit a model and then you take uh, one over what your model predicted as the transformation. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, a lot of additional detail um, and options here. So that that's kind of the, the at a high level, what you know, the practical nuts and bolts bolts of how we use generalized linear models, how we specify their link functions, um, and as well as, you know, there's another object class to them. So you, there's other ways to, to make links that beyond the ones that are just specified here. Uh, thanks, and that, that kind of wraps up our, our discussion of uh, generalized linear models at a high level. Uh, point out that there's lots more uh, detail and theory here that one could get into in a higher level course. We're really just scratching the surface and focusing really on the practical nuts and bolts of how to use these things rather than where they come from. Thanks.